Welcome. Thank you for watching this video presented by Cost Store Fixtures. Questions should be emailed to coststorefixtures at outlook.com. This application uses the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet program. Microsoft and Excel are trademarks and property of Microsoft Corporation. A Microsoft Corporation license is required to use the Excel program. The instruction example covers foundation principles and demonstrates the process by calculating the cost of a pedestal fixture step by step. Each instruction example consists of a macro button and a cell comment. To read the text of the macro before clicking the button, hover over the cell to the right of the button and the text of the macro is displayed. Complete the instruction example to develop an understanding and proficiency at preparing a cost workup. The instructions example is on the instruction sheet. The instruction sheet is the window currently displayed. The example starts at row 157. To get to the example, click the fourth button labeled B period 000 example cost workup pedestal. The focus of step one of the three steps is on the principles of this process and how to enter dimensions on the single project dimensions sheet. Example item 1.2.01, introduction, enter base dimensions. This is item one of part two of step one of the pedestal cost workup example. A macro prompts the user to enter the values specified. Five values will be entered. Four are dimensions and the fifth is a quantity. Always first is the width dimension, which is measured from left to right across the fixture front. Second is the depth dimension, which is measured from the front to the back of the fixture. Third is height of section dimension, which is measured from the component's lowest point to the component's highest point. Height of section is a misnomer. A more accurate description is height of component or part. Fourth is height accumulated dimension, which is measured from the floor to the highest point of the component or part. Quantity is usually one, but it will vary in some circumstances. The message box will indicate the value to enter in the project dimension cell for each of the five cells. Enter the dimension when prompted, and then return to the instruction sheet. This example, 1.2.01 is completed. Continue the instructions example by clicking item 1.2.02.